They never wondered how long it would take to play all the Star Ocean games on PlayStation Plus. As a fan of Japanese RPGs, I was curious too. With the possibility of these games leaving the service soon, I decided to dive into the world of Star Ocean and find out. If you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber and want to complete all the Star Ocean games, uh, you might want to prioritize them. While Sony doesn't have fixed departure dates, games are available for over a year are more likely to be removed. The current lineup includes Star Ocean First Departure R, Integrity and Faithlessness, The Last Hope, Till the End of Time, and The Divine Force. And now let's talk about the time investment. Star Ocean games can be quite lengthy, with casual playthroughs and completionist runs varying greatly. For instance, First Departure R can take up 20 to 25 hours for a casual player, but investing 55 hours. Integrity and Faithlessness runs about 20 hours, but exploring all its features could take 8 hours. Uh, the Last Hope requires around 65 hours for a casual playthrough and over 150 hours for completionists. Uh, till the end of time takes about 46 hours, but completionists uh, should prepare for 170 plus hours. The Divine Force, uh, typically shorter in this series, has an average length of 30 hours and requires 85 hours for a thorough playthrough. And uh, for those not in the Star Ocean, and don't worry, if these games leave the service, there's always a chance for new titles to take their place. This August, PlayStation Plus offered fantastic games like Leo Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, Five Nights at Freddy's, Security Breach, and Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Nights. Uh, so there you have it. If you're up for the challenge, uh, Star Ocean awaits. Um, but remember, with great RPGs comes great time investment. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time. Uh, P.S. Did you know that on average it takes a gamer 100 hours to complete a single RPG? Time flies when you're saving the world.